Here's a tutorial for using the Video Physics app on the iPad. Uh, we start by selecting this icon at the bottom, or on the screen, wherever you can find it. And immediately you're given a list of previously recorded videos that other students may have done. But if for your own video, you click on the plus symbol at the top left, and then take your recording. And then after your recording, you will go to Use Video, which will appear down on the bottom right. But what we're going to do is use a previously recorded video to show you how to use the software. So here's one that was done uh, last year. Here we've got um, a student who's about to drop a tennis ball. And we're going to see how to record the position of the ball during uh, a couple of bounces. So the first thing are you've got controls down at the bottom so we can just find the best position to position the tennis ball we want it to be in just in free fall at the start so say there if we want to we can set a scale by clicking on origin and scale here and that puts up two circles with a line between them and when you've set that to a particular distance on the screen you can then set that distance up here now I previously recorded from the bottom of the table to the top is 0.9 meters, but you can choose a different, um, like a meter rule or something like that, if you wish. The other thing is you can set the origin. Here's the origin. I'm going to place that down uh, at the bottom here. Okay. Once we're ready, we then go to points. And we're given these crosshairs, which we can align up with a certain part of the ball. So we're going to put that on the bottom edge of the ball. And when we're ready, we just tap. And you'll see a red dot appear. And the frame has advanced to by one frame. Or video has advanced by one frame. Tap again. And then what we're trying to do is find the same position of the ball to line up the crosshairs. And so on. I'm going to go through several bounces here. OK, we'll stop there. Now when we want to look at the data, we tap on the screen and up here on the top right you'll see a graph symbol. Tap on the graph symbol. Now the first graph probably won't look um, like you'd expect it to look it's really just telling us where the ball was on the screen x and y coordinates so we're going to swipe across twice and now we can see something resembling what we might expect to see for free fall for a bouncing ball so if you've previously taken a scale um, against the background you might be able to use some of the measurements to work out the acceleration due to gravity and on the top graph you've got position against time vertically and then you've got the vertical velocity against time here so have a look at this and see if this matches up with your expectation